Joined now by Mark Ross, he's the co-founder and a partner with Caracal Global. That's a global communications and management company. Um, as Barbara Maynard said in that piece, it's, it's the big people playing games with little people's lives, and we're hearing a lot of that. You know, not just the ports there, you're hearing it from farmers in the Midwest, a lot of people anxious about this. Um, are we in a trade war? Is it just a trade battle? A couple of uh, salvos shot? I mean, where do you see things at this stage? Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a trade war. It's definitely a trade irritation. You know, it's not surprising that the two largest economies in the world would have dis disputes over how to conduct their economies. Um, but goods are still moving. People are still talking. Um, I don't think it's as bad as maybe some of the headline risk out there and some of the news reports. Um, I'm pretty bullish and pretty positive that we're moving forward. What do you read into the events? Because it seems like, I, I said to somebody the other day, it's like a chess game, but it's not pawns and bishops, it's ZTE and it's sorghum, and then you see, uh, you know, now they, they may be meeting at the WTO. It's, it's, you need a scorecard at home. I mean, what do you see just in this week's developments? Uh, do you see positive signs, or what do, you, what do you think? Well, I think you're spot on. There's a lot of moving parts. There's big companies involved, uh, big headlines. Um, I think, uh, you know, the fact that we're talking, the fact that a lot of these tariffs aren't in place, even the ZTE action this week really had more to do with them violating U.S. law than really kind of trade uh, implications. Um, I really think it's coming down to, I don't want to be critical of the media, but the headlines coming out, the horse race reporting, this tit-for-tat kind of trade war narrative has really dominated the coverage. But if you step back and look at a day-in, day-out kind of process, trade is still happening. Business is still being conducted. But that, I think that's pretty simple for you to say. But let me put, put myself in somebody else's shoes. Let's say I'm making these chips for China. Let's say it's 30% of what I sell each day. I mean, that's a hit. Uh, and, and that's a concern. And there are companies here in the United States that have, it's, it's so interconnected now in terms of trade globally. Um, you can take a, a pretty severe blow. No, I absolutely agree. I, yeah, I don't want to sound too cavalier, but I think. The, the biggest irritation, I think, for business overall, either side of the Pacific, is what are the rules of the road? If you're conducting business, you want to know what your plans are for the next 12 months, 24 months, even five years out. And right now, we have a situation where business on both sides of the Pacific, frankly, don't really know what's going to happen. And you're spot on in terms of supply chains. Do I plant this crop? Do I deliver these soybeans? Yeah, you're, there is some uh, unpleasantness that's happening. It's interesting. The director general of the World Trade Organization said in an interview this week, and this is going to shock you, that China doesn't really understand what the U.S. wants. And that's because it's kind of a moving target, isn't it? It seems like Donald Trump says one thing one day, says something the next day. If you're a country uh, and, and if you're a company, how, how do you deal with this? Now, I don't want to speak for the uh, Trump administration or certainly give him advice on how to run a communications department. But I think we, every day it's a new rule, right? TPP's in, TPP's out. Uh, making it very difficult. But I think the frustration, which is uh, emulating on both sides of Pacific, as I said, in terms of what business is doing, is a frustration. But if we step back and look at the big picture, things are still happening. Business is being conducted. When do you get nervous? I get nervous when there's no talking at all, you know, when there is no dialogue between countries, right, when there is no exchange, when President Trump doesn't reference President Xi, or when President Xi doesn't make positive steps to the BOA form, when there's no talk, there's no dialogue, then I think we get a problem. All right. Well, that's still continuing, so we're in good shape, I guess. Mark Ross, thanks for coming in.